Hello my beautiful crafting friends, how are you all doing and welcome to my channel, especially if you're a new subscriber and welcome back to all my existing subscribers. I hope you're all doing well and I hope the weather's okay wherever you are. We have rain but that sky looks very very white and snowy. Mm. Anyway, so um, I'm on Tracy at uh, the Foxy Creations Facebook page and she's doing this, um, oh, it's alright, brain's gone blank because Corey Oakus is squeaking in the background. Um, so she's doing a thing where everyone can take part in the Mass Make March or March Mass Make. It's one of them. Sorry, Tracy. Don't tell me off, get it wrong. <laughs> So, I thought I'd get to join in because I thought I need to get the old brain cells rotating. And so, I've been doing a lot of die cutting. Um, and I've created loads of these picture frames. And I thought I would do tags with this. And in the centre, it has this stuff. Um, you could use a high gloss clear nail varnish to put into the center so it gives it that nice shiny effect that it looks like glass um you could use a little bit of plastic um <clears throat> i did put some out of the way ready to show you <laughs> but i don't know where i put it <laughs> it's been a bit crazy this morning um so all i've done is i've got some of this this is um a digital that I've printed on cardstock um, from Pink Monarch Print. Then I've just used some scrap paper to do there, stamped a butterfly, used some fabric, um, and I've done musical notes in there, and then I've sewn around the edge. And then you can use this as a bit, add some um, ribbon or something, so you can put it into a tag, or you could clip it on with a paper clip and have it at the top of the page so you've got your pretty bit on the top sticking out over the top of the journal so i thought let's get making loads ready so are you prepared so all you're going to need is some of these so you don't have to have um let's get some of the orange ones out so you can actually see them better um so you don't have to have a die cut um, you could just create some frames yourself, you know, circular ones. If you've got an oval hole punch, square hole punch, just get creative. It is easy to do. You don't have to have all these goodies. And that's especially if you're starting out with junk journaling as well. So we're going to start off with that. And I'm going to get a bit of paper. Get a bit of paper. I'm just gonna um, stain around the edges with some. I'm going to use a vintage photo for this, I think, or I might use that depending. I think I'm going to use vintage photo. So I'm just going to go around the edges just to make it stand for attention. Like that, and then the same on the inside, and then hopefully that will make it a little bit different. So the same with this one. So how are you all doing? I think I asked that at the beginning. I can't remember. Do you know the amount of times I have to edit these videos and restart them again because I feel like I sound like a like Wally. <laughs> There we go, and there's that one. See, that automatically changes that. That's nice. Right, okay, so you can add gold um, embossing ink. I don't know where my embosser is. I'll put it somewhere. Put everything somewhere. So we're going to make quite a few. <coughs> Sorry, a bit of a dry throat. So we'll add two more of them. And another two of them. <coughs> I 
Sorry, I'm trying to stop myself from coughing. <laughs> so it's all the yakking I'm doing. Oh, it's just a different ink then. Okay, never mind. So you can have whatever image you like on the inside. Like that. And let's just add that extra bit. I feel like I need some. Just uh, reach out a bit. It just feels like it's not. Oh, come on, Claire. Get your act together. So it would be advised to wear um, gloves at this point, but I'm not too bothered because it's my day off. So I can um, give my hands a good wash <laughs> afterwards. Okay. I'm liking that with the darker, actually, I think I'm going to do that one darker as well. Oh, I've just put my finger in it. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that. The aged look. I'm hoping these will give you guys a little bit of inspiration. Especially if you've got little knickknacks lying about. It's using up that scrap. So we know we like to do that, don't we, eh? And do you know what? I've always got loads of card everywhere. And I thought I need to start using my... Um, die cutter and Macarda trying to do a bit of a spring clean right okay so that's that right so what I need to do next is need to I'm going to so you can have these all different size but I don't want them that big so I'm going to go to there and trim that down okay, I'm going to go in the centre I'm going to lay these out. One, two. Put that there. And then I know. And we're going to be roughly the same size. You could even do these as um, little clusters to put on a page. So you wouldn't have to have a big backing card, just have a small one. Or we'll just create an alternate paper clip. Completely up to you. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip around the edge there. Like so. Okay, and then obviously we want to do a little bit of stamping, so it's ideal to decorate these up. <clears throat> Get some of them going. So, what do I want? I really like the butterfly, how that turned out. So I'd like to be able to do that again, but I'm going to do it on the opposite side. And I'm only inking one part of it. And then going in like that. I have got a block where I put it. I do not know because I'm going through bit by bit of um, <laughs> sorting my craft room out and having proper zones. 
Yeah, I've only got a little small space. Not big enough to swing a cat, even though I would not hurt a cat in the actual process of sorting my craft room out. Oh, that's nice. I just like it with a little bit of added touch. Right, so I've got this butterfly next. Um, so yes, I have a little L-shaped desk and um, everything that surrounds me. And I mean everything. Um, so yes, I don't have much room to, you know, as I'd say, swing a cat. So I've kicked myself in the bum and I am decluttering and resorting, reorganisation, I think is the word you should say. Okay. I've got that butterfly, maybe... Uh, I don't want it all the way there, so I'm going to hold that bit. Um, put you there, my little friend. That's nice. Like so. Right. And then all I'm going to do is go around the edge. Look at that. Old style. I'm a spit. I do love my Tim Holtz inks. And I'm going to start a little collection going on. <laughs> Doing different colours. I think I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six colours so far. Fabulous. Ooh, nearly lost it then. Right, okay, so next job is I need to get some scrap fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down as a base so I know where to plant my bits of fabric because you don't need huge amounts. Because obviously you're not going to see it all. So I'm going to have you there. Oh, get here you. And then I'll put this. see half of it now okay like so it's all about the placement you know <laughs> like I know hey eh? right just gonna Some of this and I'm gonna shred it. So yeah, you don't have to use pretty little trims or anything. It's whatever's lying about. Using up all those scraps. Bit more of this. 
I think. Okay, like so. So I'm just going to get some glue and I'm going to glue them into place. So let's lift that up gently. I'm only going to do a little smidge here because I'm going to actually go around the sewing machine. So you haven't got to have a sewing machine. Just use a little bit extra glue to put the things into place. Okay. Now. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly go around with my sewing machine. got to be perfect with the sewing either just saying I'd be here all week if I went perfect <laughs> Fabulous. And snip. A few over there. Set. Right, so we've done that bit so far, and the next job would be to put them on there. Can't remember if I've got it in the right place. I think I have. And then it is to create the inside. So, I have got their backings because it helps a lot and I'm just going to find a different image to use. Just trying to think. Oh, that's nice. So, I'm just going to go say about there we know. So all I'm going to do, oh, let's use a bit of print stick and glue my hands. <laughs> I'm just going to place that there. Perfect. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around the edge but leave a gap around. there like so it's upside down there and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge just around this edge 
we don't need a lot enough for the glue to catch so there's a lid what I'm just going to quickly do is I'm just going to go around <coughs> this picture just to Darken some of it up and then by magic hopefully let's just make sure I've got it around the right way I didn't then I'm gonna just go to spot there okay and I still got it upside down <laughs> still got it upside down right okay just make sure that sticks like so fabulous and then obviously you have dot hole like that but what I want to do is I want to put my scrap fabric paper there and I did have some to hand okay so I just want a bit Just a little bit. Pretty stick. Okay, and all another piece. We've got any in here that's different. So you can add a little bit of colour. Let's add a piece of this. This is nice. So maybe just take a little strip. Because then it's a bit like washi tape. Fabric. So what I'm gonna do she says <laughs> I'm nearly out of this. So but I am determined to use every little last drop. I don't know if everyone else has noticed everything that seems to be going up in price now. By quite a big amount as well. Okay. And so I pop, we popped into home bargains yesterday because we wanted to find some shelves for the camper van. And something what was £4 just before Christmas was all of a sudden £5. So it's like one pound inflation <laughs> keep clear out failure you do right okay <laughs> so we've done that bit now so i'm going to use this it's a 3d gloss um <clears throat> finished for liquid embossing oh, i'm just letting them dry naturally I'm just going to go around the edge and then what I do is I just smooth it out with the tip catching any bubbles because this will dry clear um, just going to get around there 
as much as I can. You don't want too much of it. But I want to make sure I get everywhere. Just shimmy it around. Like so. Making sure I catch any bubbles what are in it. And like that. And then what? Very sent. So I just want to put something added on top. So I prefer that if it was up there maybe. And there. Like it there. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on this end. She says. Come on glue, don't give up on me. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like that. And come on glue on there. Okay, so there you go. There's number one made. As you can see, it's already got like a shine to it. So I do a little bookmark. So we'll put that to one side. And then we're going to do the same again. I just want to find, oh, that's a nice image. The rose. A rose by any other name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around this edge and then I know where I'm going with me dot. Okay. Right, okay, let's do this. Just gonna go So if you were mass making, what would you create with all your many goodies? I'm just gonna use this. Fabulous. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Right, so let's do our paper assortment. Do you know what? I'm going to have it going that way. <clears throat> have it that way, she says. That can sit there. Like so, and I can have a little bit, a little bit of Monica. Sorry, just came into my head all of a sudden. That wasn't a huge man. I just want to snip, snip it, just to go there. So, lift you up out of the way, my little friend. It's about to come down a bit. There. Okay, Fab. And then glue this on. says 
two hours later. I've been so busy sorting out stuff in my action shop, I forgot to get Sank out for dinner. <laughs> so I've got to quickly run to the shop after this and see what I can do with my husband for tea. <laughs> Bless him. I don't even know what the time is. Right, oh, I like that. Okay, so let's get this in the centre. I'm just gonna okay. see if we can smush it around. Okay, we've got everywhere we have. Fabulous. Oh, wait, on. I can see a dot. Get rid of that bubble. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, excuse me if I've knocked you at all. I just like adding these little tags as a little bit of an extra. Extra piece, extra piece to the puzzle. What have we got? We've got another number there. So <clears throat> I'm going to put you at the top. I'm going to use you because I don't need to cover any fabric. She says get the glue out oh i'll just put that right all in my hand then nice i'm just gonna put that one right there straight glare would help fabulous so there you go there's another one done i'm just gonna press pause because i just need to check on daisy okay sorry just so Daisy was sound asleep in her doghouse. <laughs> yeah, she has a doghouse in the kitchen. Right, so I'm just going to put these somewhere safe so they can dry. And then we'll do the next look three. So we'll get them prepared. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use a bit of this. So I'll keep all these little bits of scrap because I can use them. So I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> so I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> so I am filming on my new phone. So I'm hoping it's going to behave and stay filming and how I want it, which is landscape, not portrait. Okay. So we'll have a bit of you. That one. For you for that one and a bit for you for that one. Oh, I don't like that. Don't play. Okay. And then what else do we have? Hmm. So we'll have a bit more. We can add some more of this one. <clears throat> so I'm in process of making a Jack the Ripper junk journal. Um I've Printed off some digitals from Tina. Shab uh, yeah, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. <laughs> like, oh no, I'm getting the names wrong now. Um, so, yes. Should be on the next video. Building a bit more with you guys. Actually, see, do you know what? I prefer that one there. And that. I should have some more hair with words on. I do indeed. I've got shakes. Okay. Okay. 
You for there. You for there. I'm not going to have you for there and you for there. Like that. Okay, let's glue them down. <laughs> and throw it about as you do. I'm just going to have that going up there. making lots of bits and pieces up for my shop which is fun so I've actually built mystery boxes for junk journaling <laughs> I was like I've got so much stuff that I need to use and I think it would take me a lifetime to use majority of my stuff so I thought right I need to share it so they say sharing is caring so yeah I've made um, a load of them up they've got 162 items in them so yeah nice size boxes in pretty blue boxes as well so, what boxes that I normally order to send off my junk journals in, they're out of stock. So I thought, right, what else have we got? So I've got some pretty blue boxes now. Something a little bit different. Okay. I'll put you right there. Right, fabulous. That's that bit. Right, so just going to sew it around the edge again. Right guys, so there's that bit done, all sewn around. Now we're going to get some bits of fabric. So I've got some of this here to use as well. I won't need all of that because it's a bit too much. Quite like that there. And then I've got a bit of this. I'm just going to shred this up. Okay, have that there. Come on, please. Blob of that, blob of there. <laughs> Let's work to some speed, Claire. Hey, <laughs> a bit of that there, a bit of this one here. Sit up there and do as you're told. A bit of this, bit of blue. Oh, that's sticking it to my hands, preferably. Oh, and a bit of this. <clears throat> Like so, 
now we're on a roll right okay so now we need to find another image and what do we have here I'm just trying to find, oh, good. oh sure, sure, cherub, oh, okay, I like that one, so sticky, put it stick, now I've got to try and work out how to line this one up, I'm sure we'll do it. light behind it. I can see it there. Perfect. Right. Okay. And then a bit of glue around the edge of this. Actually, do you know what? I want to ink that around there. And then place you right there. Oh, she said, right there. Come down a bit. There. And now you for that one okay so i'm actually going to use some of this music as well i think so a bit of glue right there i'm actually gonna place it right on that i think and just go around definitely want to do some inking on this make it a bit okay lid there and then do you know what? I'm just gonna go around like that to make my life easy Claire Okay, and then another one, she says. What else have we got in here? Just to give it a bit of variety. That's what it's all about. Oh, that's nice. That there. Okay, there's my disc. <laughs> disc, get here now. Bit of glue, just checking on the time. I'm just gonna just go like so. Okay. Okay. Same again, just catching a little bit. You're not going to see right to the edge, but you'll see a bit. And I'm just going to go around there, like so. And like that. Oh, perfect like that right okay so now i'm gonna have our glue and do 
in our places, she says. Make sure that's straight. Okay. And then okay. On that. Oh, nearly had me. Okay. Fabulous. Right. And then it is just a case of this. a bit on that one just get to um anything with um bright light there you can't quite see certain colors where you've put something ideal for crafting though i must admit right okay so that's that and i've got a bit just there so i'm just gonna shimmy that off like so and then we just need our letters now what have we got here so that's not one <laughs> So we've got ticket. Yes, please. Oh. So I'm gonna put you up here like so. Reflect. Oh. I'll put you there, and then I'll just need one more. I'll go in my box, and hopefully I can... Oh, what's that? What's that? That's the garden. Oh, yes, I'll have that one, if you don't mind. Garden. I've got a rose. And just... Ooh. So, where should we put you? Should we put you there? We'll put you at the top, I think. Like so. Fabulous. So there's one, two, three, four. Five. And then this one up here, number six. And then what I'll do is at the end of the video, I'll do a photo of all the ones that I've made so far with this mask make. So I hope you enjoy this video and it gives you a little bit of inspiration on using up your scraps and creating something different. Um, I really enjoyed this. And it was nice that I got my die cutter out again. <laughs> I'm sure my husband will be impressed as well since he got it for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. 
Anyway, so I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting, everybody, and take care. See you on the next video. Bye.